Hey guys, this is Terrell with the Department of Dance and you're watching Tea Time with Terrell. And I'm really glad for you guys to come back and hang out with us. So if you do want to submit some questions, like I said, go in those descriptions, type in some shit, and we'll give it a listen, all right? So let's go to our topic of the day. Our topic is creativity. And <laughs> as you can see, I would like to think I am one of the most creative people on the planet. Um, I would say that my mind runs a million paces. And like, I will get an idea and then I will for forget it. But being creative is honestly the reason why I'm still doing things right right now. It's one of the reasons why I can do this. It's one of the reasons why we have such a big, expensive part in our lives, you know? It makes us who we are. We become more than just ourselves when we are creative. We are an expansion of ourselves. And that does sound weird, but the universe is an, is an expansion of itself. So, hey, let's say we are the center. All right, now let's go to our questions. Our first question is from a friend of mine. Her name is Alyssa Hermosa. Girl, I got you. And your question was, how do you live in a world where anxiety and depression is the number one rule in young people in young people's lives without dissociating yourself and girl that's a fucking mood <laughs> because like take it from me from someone who does have anxiety and uh, and depression i i'm happy that I wouldn't say I'm dissociating my myself, but I am happy to know that there are people like me, but at the same time, I'm very upset that there are people like me because they have to deal with their, de with, with their demons. And I know what that's like. Even though we all have our own different struggles, I know what it's like because it sucks. And, you know, I don't say, I, I, I wouldn't say that you will be dissociating yourself. I, I'll say that, if anything, it's a good way for you to connect with someone and help each other. Um, that's the beauty of being in the generation that, that I'm in, and we weren't the only ones. There's been generations before us, and they've had their own struggles, they had their own difficulties. But the beauty about ours is, we're in an age where technology is everything, and we can all connect with, you, with each other. So instead of, you know, trying to say, whose struggle is worse. How about we just say, I understand that struggle, I understand that struggle, let me help you, and let's see if we can help each other. Let's see if we can build each other and build on the basis of anxiety and, and depression. You know, that's something that we can all understand and relate because it's something that we all deal with. And I hope that I answered this question right, and I hope that this will be good for you to understand, okay? Okay, and so the next question is from another friend of mine, and this is Chris Spinelli. Dude, he asks, what's the meaning of life? <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> I, you know what? If I'm going to be completely real, dude, life is everything. Life is all around you. And not trying to sound Disney, but it is. Life is all around you. Life is in you. So the meaning of life is everything. We're all everything, so we should take that into account. And I feel like that's as much as I can get on it. You can go on and on talking about the being of life. That's because it is everything. So when someone asks you, just be like everything. Just like, just like me, I'm everything. Just like you, you're everything. You're everything. Okay, we're good. For our final question this one is a serious one um and it was hard for me to answer this question and this came from my friend edwin hernandez he's actually a bartender here at gravity and um you know it's a tough thing and i i was scared to answer it because i know it's a big stigma behind it i know it's going to be a lot of fighting um but the question is flour or tor or corn tortilla and let me tell you something I'm gonna tell you something. I stuttered. Yeah, I did because this is a hard question. Actually, it's not. Flour is the motherfucking win. It's the goat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As authentic as corn tortilla is, I only want it from my tamales and my enchiladas. I do not care. Flour is fucking goat, okay? It makes the perfect taco. It makes the perfect pupusa. 
makes a perfect gordita. Wait, are gorditas? Wait, no, they're not. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not authentic as I thought I was. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the second episode of Tea Time with Terrell. I am so happy that you guys love the first one. I am really overwhelmed with the love and the support that I got from everyone. I really, really thank you. It means the world that I can, you know, put something out there and that people like it and they enjoy it and they relate to it. So really thank you. If you want to see what the Department of Dance got going on, girl, go in that description and like all of our shit. I'm the one who's manning, you know, the Instagram and the Snapchat. And if you want to see my personals, that's down in the description too. Come follow me. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. I'm so down. Let's do it. All right, guys. You have a wonderful night. See you later.